So we continue our question and answer videos, as I said in the last episode, that I will be bringing some of the questions that I have got in the email. So today, we are going to be discussing this question that I got from several people from Nigeria concerning HND program. So I will read the question and then uh, I will share my thoughts, how I responded to it and how I know that many people have addressed this. I have an HND from a polytechnic in Nigeria. Can I get admitted into a graduate school in the USA to do an MSc? The simple answer to this is yes. But there are a few things that you have to do as a candidate, and I'm going to highlight them in this video. When you are applying to graduate program here in the United States, it's not particularly stated that it must be BSc. It is in most cases stated as BSc or BSc equivalents. And the school where you get your HND is an accredited institution. It's not just a school that is not recognized. I will share my thoughts about how I see that people have gone through this before to transition. It is not an easy journey. I know I must say that. What actually matters when it comes to getting to graduate program is the number of credit hours that you take. Because by the time your transcript is evaluated, it will be evaluated based on not just how many courses you take, but what is the weight of each of those courses? What is the credit hours? So the total credit hours to get a bachelor's degree could be 120 credit hour, 130 credit hour, or 140 credit hour. I'm just making up those numbers. Now, if let's say the total credit hours to get a bachelor's degree is 130 credit hours, when you add up all the credit hours for the courses you take, both in your ND program and in the HND program, would they add up to be enough to get a bachelor's degree? Because that is what will be the key point. As I will explain further as I provide a strategy that people take when they go through this route. So this is the key. So that if you are in, let's say you are in the polytechnic now, you are listening to this, one of the things that you can do is to ensure that you take as many courses as possible since you are still there. But if you have already finished, of course, you can go back. The next thing is to look for the way forward. And the first thing I advise people is to send their transcript for evaluation. And one of the highly recognized bodies that do transcript evaluation is the World Education Services, which you probably know about is WES. You can easily put the name in Google and search for read WES, World Education Services. Uh, it's a non-profit organization. They evaluate transcript for people who have their education outside of America and outside of uh, the United States and Canada. They look at the transcript, then they take each course and the content of it, the credit hour, and compare to if you are taking the same course here in the United States, and then give you a particular credit for that course. Then they will look at your score, at whatever you scored there, and also provide that equivalence. So that is a very good way to bring your HND and your HND transcript to a comparison to the scale of the United States. After the evaluation is done, you are going to see your total credit hours and you are going to see your GPA. They also can put a note there to indicate whether your credit hours add up to be a bachelor's equivalent or is equivalent to an associate degree. So the courses that you take in both the ND and the HND along with what you score on them will be what matters to determine where you are placed. So that is important, but once you do that evaluation, you will not know. So that is the first thing that I advise that you do, that send your transcript, your ND and HND transcript, everything, send it to WES for evaluation. After you've done your evaluation and you got the evaluation uh, report back from WES, the next thing, which you can do this even before you send your transcript for evaluation, is to look for schools 
universities in the United States that will accept your HND. And one of the key ways to look at it is look for some small state schools. Don't focus on big schools. You know, look for small state schools. Some of them are not in major cities. They are not in big cities. And, and some are. Some of these schools also require that you do a worse evaluation of your transcript. So that way it has made the journey easier for you because if the worst evaluation presents you as having a bachelor's degree equivalent, then that is taken care of. So what will matter now is your CGPA. If your CGPA is within the right range for that program, then that will make a very good case for you. So don't focus on big schools. Focus on small state schools which are ready and are willing to accept you. And I must say that this is not the end of your journey. You know, if you are accepted in such state school and you are able to start your program there, you do a master's degree there, and you put in a lot of effort and you do well, then you can then move to any of the big school that you desire. That will be determined by how you perform in that master's program. And that's a good way to plan this journey. I have seen several people who worked that route and it has worked out fine for them that after attending a small school, they performed very well in that small school. And from there, they are able to go to other schools within the United States. In this case, I advise that you apply to as many schools as possible. Don't just apply to two or three. Look for five to ten schools. And there are many schools like that that will accept you. The next step in the journey after you have done your worst evaluation and you have selected the school that you apply to, if such school required the GRE, the graduate record exam, I strongly advise that you take the graduate record exam very seriously because this is going to boost the status of your application and it will add to the value. So the graduate record exam is something that is very critical and it can make a big difference. Some of these small schools require it, some of them don't require it, so you have to look at the requirements of that program. Now, if you are applying to a small school where it says the graduate record exam is not required, but it is recommended, I advise you for this particular situation of having an HND to take that exam, take the graduate record exam, because it's going to add to the value of your application. It's going to make your application stronger if you perform well on that GRE. So, so take special note of that. The other thing that uh, will come along with this is to send an email to the graduate program coordinator or advisor in that school that you are applying to, in that program, within that program, that department that you are applying to. Because these are the people that can understand your situation, they can listen to you, and they are also in charge of looking at your transcript, looking at your document when it comes in, before it goes to the committee for evaluation. And it's also the same person who will give you the right information about funding, or teaching assistantship, or graduate assistantship which will provide you the financial support that you need. In this case, you have to act very carefully and act very wisely. This kind of email is not the email you just send as cold email to different professors in that department. You know, most of the time they may not reply you. But the person in charge of the graduate program, the coordinator of the graduate program will always respond to I think I've gone through the basic step that you need to take in order to get into a graduate program in the United States if you have an HND in Nigeria. And this may also apply to folks from other countries who also have programs that are like the Polytechnic, where the degree is not clearly stated as a bachelor's degree. So the same uh, strategy can also apply. So if you have any other questions related to this, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments or send an email. If it is something that is not addressed here or there is something particular to your situation that you want some clarification about. That's the end of uh, this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel so that 
you are going to be notified when another video is uploaded and thank you for watching bye bye